Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I created this really beautiful looking nude makeup look for dusky skin tones. There are a lot of nude makeup looks for fair to uh, medium skin tone on the internet, but not really a lot of nude makeup looks for dusky complexions. So this is what I came up with. I was super happy to see the result. It's very pretty and mauvey. Um, sort of like a dusty mauvey look for dusky complexions that work really beautifully as a nude makeup look so if you want to know how i achieved this really pretty nude makeup look for dusky complexions then please do continue watching First of all, I'm going to start with moisturizer today. So I'm taking the Skin Fuel Moisturizer from CS Essentials, which is like a really rich and hydrating moisturizer. So I'm just going to apply that all over the face using my fingertips. This is going to be an excellent moisturizer if you have um, really dry skin because it's very, very rich and thick in consistency but for the winters i really like it on my oily skin as well and it helps creating that really pretty dewy base for primer i'm gonna pick up the nika prep me up primer which is a silicone based primer and helps in uh, filling up the pores so i'm applying that on the main areas of my face using my fingertips again and spreading it out really well Once that is done, I'm going to pick up my foundation and for today's look, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation mixed in with the CS Essential Skin Treat Face Oil. So I took a few pumps of the foundation on the back of my hand and a few drops of the oil and I mixed them really well and just applied that using a damp beauty blender all over my face and the foundation itself is really really fluid so it's very easy to apply and blend the product all over my face and yet it provides a very good coverage and stays really well as well and this foundation shade is a very good match on me I'm also dragging the product uh, towards the neck. Then to conceal and highlight, I'm going to take the Sugar Cosmetics Magic Wand Concealer in the shade Con Panna. I'm applying a little bit of the concealer to the inner corners of my eyes and the outer corners of my eyes. Also gonna apply the same concealer on top of the eyelids as a base for my eyeshadow and to carve out the bottom part of my eyebrows to make them look really defined and sharp. Gonna highlight my forehead a little bit on the bridge of my nose on my cupid's bow and chin. Then I took the same damp beauty blender to blend all of the highlighted areas and this concealer is very very high in coverage so a little bit goes a long long way. It's very comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Now to set my base makeup, I'm going to take the K-Beauty HD Loose Powder in the shade Olive. So I've taken that on a really fluffy powder brush from CS Essentials and applying a really thin layer of the powder in gentle dabbing motions all over my face. Then I'm going to take a generous amount of the powder and bake underneath my eyes since I'm going to begin with my eye makeup and this will help um, the eyeshadow fall out to catch on the under eye area. Then I took my K-Beauty eyebrow pencil in the shade Hazelnut. So I'm just going to fill in any gaps in the eyebrows.
Then I took a spoolie brush from CS Essentials again to brush and comb through my brows to make them look a little bit more natural. For eyeshadow, I'm going to take the Anastasia Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette and I'm going to pick up the shade called Rustic, I think. It's a very beautiful neutral uh, matte brown eyeshadow. So I took that on a blending brush from CS Essentials and applied that as a transition color onto the crease and really making it blown out on the crease. Then I'm going to take a tapered blending brush and I'm going to pick up that really beautiful soft lilac uh, shade and applying that onto the crease because I wanted to make everything a bit more mauve toned. Then I'm going to dip the brush onto the rustic shade again and I'm going to pop that on the outer V of my eye to um, kind of add some definition over there. I'm also applying the same eyeshadow to the inner corners of my eyes because I am going for a soft halo eye look for today's look. Then I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush from CS Essentials and picking up this really rosy uh, shimmery eyeshadow and popping that right on the centers of my eyelids and this is going to create that halo eye shape. Then I'm going to pick up the shade called Glistening which is like a pale gold shade and pop that on the center of my eyelid because I wanted to make it a bit more on the uh, nudish side and also it's going to intensify the eye makeup further. Then I'm going to take this really pretty um, sort of a warm brown color and apply that to merge the shimmer eyeshadow to the um, uh, deep dark brown eyeshadow to the inner corners and the outer corners. Then to smoke out my lower lash line, I'm going to take a very tiny little pencil brush and I mix those two shades from the palette and I'm just going to apply that to the lower lash line and that's going to really give that smoky effect. After that, I took my all-purpose eye pencil in the shade Tan from Absolute New York and applied that to the lower waterline and this is going to really awaken my eyes. And then I took the uh, powder brush with a little bit of the powder on it to dust off any excess powder and eyeshadow away from my face. For mascara, I'm going to take the Flower Beauty Lash Warrior Mascara and I'm going to give a generous coat of this to my top and bottom eyelashes. I just absolutely love this mascara. And by the way, I'm wearing fresh look contact lens in the shade Honey. You guys always ask me, so that's the shade I'm wearing. Then I took my NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Dark Tan and I'm going to use that to bronze up my face. I took that on a contour brush from CS Essentials again and chiseled out the hollows of my cheeks, also applying a little bit on the temples. Applying that on the perimeters of my forehead. And also on the sides of my nose to make it look more slender. Finally, a little bit under the lower lip to make my lips look pouty. For blusher, I'm going to take one of my old favourites. This is the Lottie London Blush Crush in the shade Zack. 
which is such a beautiful mauvey pink uh, blusher color for dusky complexions. So I'm just going to add a light flush of color to the cheeks um, using a blush brush from CS Essentials again. Once that is done, I'm going to take the K-Beauty Illuminating Highlighter in the shade Honey Glaze which is a recent discovery and I'm going to take that on a fan brush which is like a such a beautiful muted, really really finely milled uh, golden highlighter for my complexion. So I'm just going to pop that on the tops of my cheekbones, on my cupid's bow, on my chin and also going to take a tiny pencil brush to highlight the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. I also highlighted the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone but unfortunately the clip got cut. Um, but yeah, that's what I did. I'm also applying that on the collarbone and my shoulders to add that dewy, glowy, fresh look. I took off any excess lip balm on the lips using a tissue paper before applying any lip product. Now I'm going to take the Kiko Smart Fusion Lip Pencil in the shade Chocolate, one of my favourites again. So I'm using that to really add a nice contour around my mouth and I'm slightly overdrawing to create that beautiful pouty effect. For lipstick, first I took the Sugar Cosmetics Nothing Else Matter lipstick in the shade Teak Over which is like a beautiful muted uh, berry sort of a colour. So I applied that all over my lips and it's a matte finish. And then I found that it's a bit too dark for this makeup look since I was going for the nude um, sort of a theme. So I took my Maybelline um, Creamy Matte Lipstick in the shade Nude Nuance which is like a muted brownish um, nude colour on me so I just applied that on top of the uh, teak over lipstick to create that nude lipstick colour on me and that just gave me the perfect um, lipstick colour that I was going for for this look. For lashes, I took the CS Essentials eyelashes in the style Nelly, which is like a beautiful wispy set of um, eyelashes. So I popped them off camera and this is how they looked. Now to set everything in place, I took the CS Essentials Glow Fix Setting Spray to uh, lock and add some dewy glowy fresh effect to the entire makeup look. So I covered my eyes and sprayed the setting spray all over my face and neck and that just gave me that beautiful dewy glowy effect. So that is the finished makeup look. Such a beautiful and pretty looking nude makeup look for dusky complexions. Um, these kind of tones like uh, the mauvey, dusty sort of a tone really work on duskier complexions as a nude colour. So I really hope that you guys found this video useful and helpful and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up, comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And that's about it for today's video and I shall see you guys soon in my next one. Bye!